Yo, what is going on guys? Today I've got a special video for you. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how you can make any camera more HD just through editing. I'm going to show you guys some tips and tricks that you can use just to improve the overall quality of your shot. Um, as you guys just saw in that little beginning clip, um, I showed you guys some before and afters. You can just see the difference in the quality in the before and after. Um, so what I'm going to do in this video is show you a quick little tutorial you can do in Premiere. If you are an After Effects user, you can follow the same exact steps I'm doing in After Effects. Um, the effects that I'm going to be using in Premiere, they're exactly Exactly the same in After Effects so if you just listen to what I'm saying you can do this in After Effects as well so we're gonna start out by just using this clip right here starting out with this frame right here and we're just gonna make a few little adjustments just to be able to make this a lot more HD a lot more shiny a lot more kind of sharp a lot more pleasing to the eye it's gonna look a lot better and this will work with any camera like I said this is all done through editing so first steps first what we're going to do we're gonna hold down alt on our keyboard and we're gonna select our clip and just drag up that's gonna make a duplication of that clip and then we're just going to select that clip we're going to go over to our effect library right here and we're going to look up a tint effect go ahead and take that tint effect drag that onto your clip it's going to make it black and white but that's okay now what we can do is come up here into our effect controls panel go over to opacity and then we can just change the blending mode of this to soft light and then right here we can open up this little box and we can change the opacity of this to whatever we like this is just going to give us a nice control of our shadows just to kind of give it more of that high definition feel um so something around like 35 40 so something around the 30 to 40 mark is usually where i put it i'm going to put it around 40 and what we want to do is kind of just isolate the subject right here so that it gives it more of like a high definition type kind of vibe just a small little adjustment like that once we've done that we're going to move on to our next step so let's go back into our project where we can see all, all of our clips and then now what we're going to do is we're going to go up to file we're going to click new and we're going to click adjustment layer so like i said make sure you're in your project bin for the adjustment layer to show up or it'll be grayed out click ok it's going to show up in your project right here Go ahead and take that adjustment layer and just place that over your clip and then you can go ahead and resize that adjustment layer to be the full size of your clip so now what we're going to do is we're going to add the necessary effects just to make this look a little bit more hd so let's go ahead and go back into our effect library and we are going to look up on sharpen mask it's under the blur and sharpen folder right here drag that onto your adjustment layer and now what we can do is we can mess around with the amounts the radius the threshold of this just to get something that we like so i'm going to set this at 250 um, just to see what that looks like and then what you can do is you can actually click on this eye right here just to see some before and afters so already you can just see the um, difference in the quality if you just look at his hoodie right here and all the edges and how it's kind of a little bit blurry let's turn back on our sharpening it's a little bit better it still needs to be polished up a little bit but it, but i think that it makes it just a little bit more hd a little bit more sharp but not overdo it the whole goal is to make this look hd look make it look sharp but never overdo it or it's just going to look out of place and now what we can do is i'm going to click on this unsharpened mask in my effect controls i'm going to click Control c Control v to duplicate it so now this is obviously overdone this is a good example of what overdoing the unsharpening would look like i'm going to make this around 50 um, and then i'm going to make the radius of this 0 0.5 and that's just going to get the outer edges and it's just going to kind of complete that sharpened look um, so here's another look at the before and afters i'll turn it off and on just so you guys can see the difference even with the background like the graffiti makes it a little bit more sharp so now we're going to add one more step into this. What we're going to do is we're going to go back into our project bin and we are going to go to file new adjustment layer again. We're going to click OK. We're going to drag that second adjustment layer over top of all this and we're going to resize it like that. Then we're going to click on our second adjustment layer and we're going to actually add another unsharpened mask but this time we're actually going to do something different. So drag that unsharpened mask onto our adjustment layer. Make it around 50 this time as well. Uh, maybe even something like 75 to 100 you can mess around with this really <clears throat> this time what we're going to do is we're going to open up the opacity tab and we're going to change the blending mode of this to lighten and this way we can actually change around just the lights or the highlights and we can actually change around this opacity to see what we like so 100 obviously is too much let's move it something around like 20 and then here is our before and after so i'll turn all these off this is our before and then this is our after obviously it looks a lot more hd in my opinion i think it looks a lot better keep in mind that when you're previewing this it's going to look a lot different from the actual final output once you render all this and it does all the rendering the sharpening i think isn't going to look as cartoonish um, whenever you do render it 
I think it makes it just look a lot better, and it's just something that's subtle, but it's something that's subtle, but at the same time, it's a big improvement, so it's kind of just a mix of both of those things, um, if that makes sense. Anyways, guys, so you can finish this all off by just going in and adding a let or color grading, however you usually do, on the very last clip to be able to get that color. And that is going to go in and change all the colors and get that look that you really like. And you can just, and if you full screen it, you can just really see the full detail. Um, any last tip I could really give you guys is if you want to remove some of this digital grain, depending on how much light you have in the shot, this is kind of a darker shot. So some of the blacks are going to have some of that grain. If you actually have After Effects, what you can do is you can actually bring this clip into After Effects and you can use the Remove Grain effect just to kind of polish it up. But like I said, it all just depends on your clip, but that is an option for you guys to do if you want to get rid of some of that grain that will result um, if you have a darker shot and you're adding all of those unsharpened masks onto your shot. Anyways, guys, if you want to see more videos like this, hit that subscribe button. Leave a like if you enjoy the content. It helps the growth of this channel so much. Anyways, guys, thank you for watching the video and I'll see you guys later.